on this week's KSP News Show. With the wheel upgrade and Unity 5 overhaul still bogging squad down, we look at the small tweaks planned for the landing gear in 1.1. And the reveal trailer for My Career Mode series premieres on this show today. All that on this week's not very news related KSP News Show. <laughs> Reporting live from the Kerbal Space Center, it's your host, Jin Lee Kerman! Good morning, evening, and afternoon, my fellow Kerbinauts. My name is Jin Lee Kerman. Welcome back to the KSP News Show. Once again, it's been an incredibly slow news week with regards to development of 1.1, but at least we do have a small couple of stories to bring to you this week. One of them doesn't bring all that much. I don't want to wait, I suppose, but the other one is very special, at least regarding this channel, so we'll leave that one till last, but first, let's get on with the with the actual development news with Kerbal Space Program, shall we say, this small change that they are implementing. And so, yes, the first actual concrete bit of 1.1 news that we've had in what seems like forever now. Um, Harvester, in this week's dev notes, did reveal, uh, once again, that the Unity 5 port and the wheel overhaul that he is undertaking is taking a lot longer than he initially expected. Um, there is a lot to go through in terms of code, obviously, especially with the Unity 5 port and stuff like that. So naturally, it is taking Squad a lot longer than they anticipated. He has revealed, however, that we will be getting some more landing gear in the next update. He says in this week's dev notes, I've also gone through all of, the wheel, all of our wheel parts this week, re-exporting and reconfiguring them all for the new system. This means that we'll also be getting a new gear bay between the small and medium sized bays which had to be put off from the 1.0 rele uh, release due to time constraints. The large gear bay has also been improved and now features a bogey module which controls the four wheel pivoting undercarriage. This bogey module also use is used to orient the feet on landing legs. The legs, even though they don't look it, are also wheels internally. This allows them to have, have working suspensions and friction physics. Because they obviously can't roll, they have the brakes constantly set. This makes the wheel colliders behave as static, suspension-supported feet. I reckon we are now in the final stretch of wheel development, which is none too soon, I may add. This has been a lot more work than anyone could have anticipated, but I do think it's going to be well worth the effort in the end. Now, in case you're not aware, a bogey is a sort of like a, sh a pivotable chassis um, for wheels to be attached to. Imagine, um, imagine sort of an RC car um, attached onto a selfie stick. That, that's a really bad analogy. Um, I, I got a selfie stick at the weekend, so that's why um, I'm using that as an analogy. I don't know why I actually thought of that, but it's basically a solid chassis that can pivot. The four wheels are attached, and so there's a little pivotable um, lever on the top, and it mean, it's used a lot in landing gear um, for heavier planes to give them a... Um, a flatter, play, a flatter sort of plane to actually land on, giving them um, a more stable touchdown, shall we say. And so this will make landing a uh, heavier craft with these larger landing gear a lot more viable because these larger landing gear at the moment, they seem pretty much useless to me at the moment because, well, they're, they're just too damn long. They really are just too damn long to fit even on the largest of um, the largest of spacecraft unless you have like the wings of the spacecraft fi fixed on top of them. Uh, I also do like the fact that we are going to be getting some um, sort of medium, medium sized um, landing gear, sort of between the small and the medium, but to be honest, I really just th wish that the squad would just make the, the landing gear procedural, a lot like they did with the fairings. You guys remember that mod from a while back, while back, don't you, the procedural landing gear mod? Yeah, I really wish that that was implemented into the stock game, because to be fair, although the landing gear we have at the moment is good, um, it, it is very situational and it does end up having some awkward heights. I just banged the microphone, I'm sorry. Um, it just ha does have some like very awkward heights um, to actually have your craft at and it's still very awkward to place um, relative to the center of mass and stuff like that. And I just think, reckon if the, the, if the landing gear were actually made procedural, it would be one hell of a lot easier to actually get a craft that was level when you um, launched it onto the runway. Because we've all had that, 
that moment where the front wheel of your craft is higher up than your back uh, back wheels and you end up uh, sloping down by too much of an angle and your engine ends up crashing into the, into the runway. And that's why I wish that the landing gear were actually procedural, but by the signs of things we are getting more options with regards to the landing gear, which is always very, very cool. Like I say, as always, leave your opinions in the comments down below on this, I would love to hear your opinions. But now on to the main event for today, as there really isn't much else in terms of 1.1 news for now, regarding my KSP career mode series. And so yes, in the first ever film premiere, I believe, on the KSP News Show, we are going to be showing off the reveal trailer for my um, for my career mode series uh, that has been in the making for a long time now. I did state back before I even finished my exams, which was now over a month ago, um, that I would be making this, and it hasn't simply hasn't come to fruition just because of all the stuff that I've been doing. I have I've undone so much more stuff than I initially thought that I would be doing post exams, but finally I hopefully should in the next week should start to get it rolling. Um, it's called Operation Exploration. I will let the trailer actually explain that in a second. For unfortunately, I don't think you're going to get um, more than one episode every more than one episode every week, just because the things I have planned for it um, are going to be rather complex, shall we say? And um, especially when I start college in September, we'll probably even have uh, decreased amounts of episodes then, just because I'll have work and college and driving lessons and all that sort of stuff on top of it. So. I'm going to try and get as many episodes as I can done over the summer, but I can't actually guarantee that. Uh, what I'm going to do is it's sort of semi-story driven. The trailer makes it out to be more story driven than it actually will be. But what's going to happen with regards to story is um, at crucial events, I'm going to leave an ambiguous ending where one of two events can happen. And then I'm going to let you guys decide in the comments down below what actually happens. We're going to sort of make this a community story um, idea, shall we say. I thought that was quite a cool idea. Like I say, that won't happen every single episode, but at very, very crucial points in the story, what we'll do is we'll have a vote and we'll, um, the winner, the whoever votes um, the most, whoever gets the most votes, votes in that video, um, will the, the outcome will succeed for the next one. And so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to play the trailer for you now, guys. Uh, I really hope you did enjoy. You do enjoy it. I am very pr proud of the trailer. I was um, boasting on Twitter, perhaps a bit prematurely, but uh, the trailer will be going up as a separate video as well at some point in the next few days. But until then, I hope you enjoy the premiere of um, Operation Exploration. But until then, guys, my name is Jinley Kerman, and as always, stay classy and enjoy the trailer. My name is Jebediah Kerman, commander of the 14th Rocket Division, without question the finest group of Kerbinauts that ever lived. We specialize in the exploration of the unknown. It's a dangerous job. A lot of us lost friends, a lot of people think we're crazy. Me? I disagree. You're pushing the forefront of what's possible. You're no longer a nut job with a death wish. You're a hero. And this is the story about some of us heroes became legends. <laughs> 